All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A sheikh went to visit an Asian country and a group of criminals wanted to kill him. They shot him with six bullets into the chest from a distance of one meter. The video shows there were no barriers between the shots and the sheikh. The assassin appeared to be professional and there was no resistance from the sheikh or any of his companions. لا يتوقع حدوثه أصاب الشيخ بإطلاقين برصاص من شخص لا يعرف شخصيته بعد حاليا بعد حمل الشيخ إلى المستشفى أصبح في حالة معتدلة والحمد لله Ultimately the sheikh came out of that sinful attempt intact and well then the Sheikh declared that he had remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fortified himself with supplications. Compare that to how one shot from a long distance killed President of US John Kennedy. Though his car was moving, surrounded by guards and soldiers. But how did it happen? Al-Hafiz, the guardian, ordered the angels to surround and guard you by his command of all that he didn't predestine for you. He ordered the angels to protect you from any shot he didn't will to penetrate your body and any stone he didn't will to end your life. Not even a mosquito he didn't will could touch your skin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim, Bismillahir rahmanir rahim, له معاقباتهم من بين يديه ومن خلفه يحفظونه من أمر الله. إن الله لا يغير ما بقوم حتى يغير ما بأنفسهم وإذا أراد الله بقوم سوءا فلا مرد له وما لهم من دونه من وال Some friends went out on a long journey and they got stuck in a gorge between some mountains when night was about to fall, they were totally exhausted. Their thirst was great. In short, they saw death. They were sure that no one but Allah would save them. One of them said that he called Allah repeatedly as he was so thirsty that he wanted to die. Surprisingly, in a place where he couldn't be reached, he found a spring of clean water. He didn't rejoice in the water which he shared with his companions. But in Allah who was with him at that moment, he knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who granted them that water would save them from that deadly journey. He no longer thinks of that drink of water as a symbol of the escape from death but as a symbol of the preservation of the Almighty Guardian. In the end and before sunset, they reached the surface with their faces black, their clothes were worn out and blood pouring from their legs. But their faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was as great as those mountains that surrounded them. And as Imam al-Shafi'i, may Allah have mercy on him, said, نَامَتْ أَعْيُنْ وَسَهَرَتْ عُيُونْ فِي أُمُورْ تَكُونْ أَوْ لَا تَكُونْ إِنَّ رَبًّا كَفَاكَ بِالْأَمْسِ مَا كَانْ سَيَكْفِيكَ غَدًا مَا يَكُونْ some eyes do sleep, others don't, pondering upon what may be or may not be. A Lord who sufficed you yesterday will not fail to do so tomorrow. He saves our lives, so we deposit our beloved ones to him when we leave them and say, I deposit you to him who never loses his deposits. The deposits Allah has protected and cared for cannot be lost. If you stop your car in a dark place and fear the hands of the thieves, deposit it with the guardian. It won't be touched. If you go out of your house and fear for your children, say, I entrust you to Allah who never loses his deposits. Oh Allah save it. Then trust that the eyes of Allah will guard it until you return. You will return and they are in the best care because he is the guardian. Do you know that not only does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps you safe at every moment, but rather in every moment he saves you hundreds of times. But how? In every moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-Hafiz saves your heart from stopping, your arteries from clogging, your brain from insanity, 
your kidney from failure, your nerves from damage, your head from headaches, your stomach from ulcers, your bowels from colitis, your limbs from paralysis, your eyes from blindness, your hearing from deafness, your tongue from muteness, all this and even more he saved at this moment and then this protection continues the next moment and so on. So how many times praise be to Allah, Alhamdulillah, should we say every moment? There is none worthy of worship but Allah alone who has no partner and he is able to do all things. Glory is to Allah, praise is to Allah. There is none worthy of worship but Allah, Allah is the greatest. There is no might and no power except by Allah, the exalted, the might. My Lord, forgive me, my parents and the believers when the day of account is established. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.